Hi everyone, welcome to Strawberry Patches podcast. My name is Marina and I welcome you in this new episode. I come to you from all the way from New Zealand. Well, actually, if you are local, then I'm very close by. <laughs> I haven't been here on YouTube for almost half a year or even more. And I'll tell you all about what's been going on in our lives. But I'm very happy to be back and um, today we're going to talk about hand spinning because this has been recently my biggest obsession. I have been knitting and even crocheting and still hand spinning is like what I've been up to the most. So yes, before we start uh, you can find me on Ravelry as Marina Toys and on Instagram as Strawberry Patches or Marina Horta. You can find everything down in the description box. And I also have a website. I'm also an indie dyer. And sometimes when I have time, I dye yarn. And I will tell you, I actually try to dye fiber as well. And I will share that with you today also. So that you can find on my website which is strawberrypatches.nz there is a link as well and yeah welcome welcome i am so happy to be back i will be very happy to read um, your comments or see that you're watching this it gives me great pleasure because I haven't been able to see many of my knitting friends lately and it will be awesome to have this virtual uh, spinning night, knit night chat with you guys. Um, first of all, I want to <clears throat> say that everyone is welcome if you're returning or if you're new. I hope you really enjoy this podcast. I try my best to make it interesting and hopefully you will learn something new or at least get inspired by some of my projects and uh, yeah I'm always happy for your feedback uh, to hear from you guys to see what you're knitting on to hear maybe you have something to correct me because sometimes I make mistakes English is not my native language I'm actually Russian yeah maybe I should um, reintroduce myself for those of you who are new. A uh, short story of my life. I was born in Russia and uh, my father is Ukrainian so I am a mix of both <laughs> cultures and I studied linguistics and learned many, well many, I learned English and French at the university then I went to Turkey where I taught at a, at a school, at a college. I was teaching young children and then I met my fiance and we moved to Bali where we spent wonderful eight months and then we got married and moved here to New Zealand and we had our two daughters here who are now four and one and since I moved here to New Zealand I have been exposed to this amazing fiber community and met lots of friends whom some of them I can even feel as close to his family and they taught me so much spinning yarn dyeing um, I learned about other things like flax weaving not that I know how to do it but I've learned about it and uh, much more so that was a short introduction I hope that was short so now I want to oh yes what I'm wearing so this top I knit a long time ago but recently I lost some weight, so I was able to fit in it again. And I love this pattern. It was recommended to me by lovely Margaret. Hi, Margaret. And this is called Rose Root. And I'll link the Ravelry project page down below if you want to check it out. It's a lovely pattern. It's, I uh, used this gradient cake and I didn't even have to break the thread here. So as you can see, it goes from this lovely pink all the way to this teal, I would say. And uh, I loved making it and actually I want to make another one, maybe sometime soon, but 
I'll tell you all about the hand spinning that has just taken up all of my time. Okay, let's start. So, I, I learned to spin when I just moved here and I met Cher at the New Zealand Fabrics and Yarn um, store and I was using the drop spindle back then. Then two years ago I got a lovely present from my husband, this wonderful little gem wheel, which is the Magicraft wheel and I love this baby. Oh, it's a wonderful, wonderful wheel, quite an investment, but my husband was right, like if I plan to spin on it for many, many years, better get the best you can get. So I did. And uh, yeah, I, in July, I think, I was watching lots of Andre Mallory's um, I'll Need If I Want To series. If you don't know, go check her out. She has started to talk a lot more about spinning lately. So I got a bit more fiber and I started to work with Polworth. But and then we got sick and the kids and the kindergarten and everything and birthdays and New Year. Anyways, for Christmas and actually New Year, I treated myself to some really, really cool fiber and I want to show it to you. I'm not going to show you everything today because it's just too much. Half a year I haven't recorded anything, so I have been busy. I will just show you some stuff and then hopefully sometime soon in another episode I will show you the rest. So I got some interesting fiber from Lynn, who is the master behind a fiber to go. And I spun it. It's this beautiful 20 silk, 80% merino fiber that I just didn't have any project in mind, so I just spun it as it wanted to be spun. And now it's in my stash. It's so pretty, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, really. But as you can see, it's starting to get this beautiful halo. I guess it's because of the silk. And... Uh, I'm quite happy with how my spinning looks, but I think these bright colors, they will be just too bright on their own. So maybe there has to be some sort of plain color to kind of tone it down a little bit. Otherwise, I don't know if I would wear a shawl with something with it. It was a pleasure to spin. I got some other fiber from Lynn that I will show you next time. It's, so, it's just amazing. Maybe I will spin it by then. So, apart from that, I got myself some Anna Gratton uh, Corydale blends, which are like my favorite, my favorite, favorite fiber to spin. Although I try to dif try different uh, blends, but the Corydale from Anna Gratton, like, biggest fan. So, I got myself, uh, which one of these did I get? Yes, I got one, this one. It's called, I'll show you the bag. It's 80% fine corridor wool and 20% rayon spots. And it's this beautiful, beautiful, uh, I would say tweed yarn that I got. This is 200 gram. I hope you can see. Oh, I wish I had a little bit of fiber left to show you, but uh, no, I spun it all. <laughs> I had so much fun. And here's the sample. I think it would make a really lovely baby cardigan and thankful I have two daughters who are constantly growing out of everything. So one of them might have a new cardigan soon or a vest. That's always handy to have as well. So this was cornflower and it was a really fun knit. I loved to work with this uh, rayon effect blend so much that I ordered three more blends like that but they are in the room where Lily is sleeping. Lily is my youngest and I cannot really go there. I'm afraid to wake her up <laughs> because then I'm afraid I'll have to stop the recording. So this is cornflower. Then I also got uh, Pawa. 
which is a different blend. It's 65% uh, Corydale, 20% silk, and 15% mohair. And what's amazing about this one is that I plied it with a more twist so that I can make some socks and they make them and I'll show them to you. Actually, show them to you now. Here they are. So this is my first pair of socks that I hand spun and hand knitted. I used the technique that I learned from my grandma's book ages ago. So it's not really a pattern that I can recommend. It's just a simple, simple pattern. And I have worn them, they're really, really warm. And I don't think it's a super wash yarn, so it hasn't been treated. So I believe this is going to be really, really warm. And this has, I've spun it a little bit thicker than four ply. So the fabric is quite dense and I love it. I try them on and really, they're really, really warm. So I'm looking forward to colder months where I can actually wear them. So that was Paua from Anna Gretten. The next, I uh, we have this uh, Distash group on Facebook where I was lucky enough to snag some. This fiber I got from someone who didn't want it anymore and it's from XCHEL Australia, Angora Rabbit and Fiber Art. Oh, this was such a treat to make, oh gosh. I love the colors. I love how the bat was, um, the colors were so well placed and chosen, like really, really lovely. So this is what I got. It says that it's about uh, 150 or 160 gram of Mirina Angora, hand dyed. And this is what I got. I see a beautiful, beautiful shawl out of this in the future. I want to pair it with some other Angora blend that I have. And I think it will just be delicious, super soft. And I'm sure there'll be a beautiful, beautiful halo around that shawl. So really looking forward to knitting with it. That was a lovely fiber to spin. And I also got, uh, I treated myself again, to uh, some Rambouillet, Rambouillet, I don't know, it seems to be like it's a French word, so I would, I love to pronounce French words in their French way, Rambouillet. This fiber was from Zia Wools, from my friend Dag, and she hand dyed it and it was so beautiful with these beautiful colors that i decided that i don't want to apply it on itself so i applied it with um, a sort of purple thread with it i think it was i should have written down i think it was cashmere anyways this is what i got oh yes plied with cashmere i didn't write it down great yeah i'm learning uh, to take notes as i have my stash growing. So this is how it knitted up and uh, it's so light and it's so warm that I think this could again become a really nice maybe shawl like a crescent shawl which would be knitted from side to side. I'm not sure but um, yeah here is how the thread looks and um, here I see that I knitted it on size two, I think size two or 275. Like this hole is, yeah, it must be 275. So almost three. Yep. So that was another wonderful um, fiber. So now after that, well, actually it just 10 days ago was my birthday. Yesterday, the 28th of February, 10 days ago was my birthday. I turned 39, I can't believe it. I don't feel certainly like 39. But yes, I um, asked my lovely husband if he wanted to, <laughs> if he had anything in mind to gift me. So we agreed that I would choose all the 
stuff and then he would wrap it up and give it to me and he did and i will show you the photo of me basking in all these wonderful gifts and show you some of them now so one of those gifts um, one of the bags of fiber I got some um, Corydale from Anna Gratton I also got a lovely project bag and I got uh, what else oh yes um, Polworth and Silk blend from Starfish Farms come right <laughs> so this was one of them look at this it's called gypsy 65% fine wool 20% silk 10% mohair and 5% nylon glitter look at that look at this this is so much fun to spin I only spun a little sample here I hope you can see and oh look at that look at those colors look at those bling and it's just a joy a joy to spin i think this will be the next thing on my wheel i also got some sock blend um, which was 80 percent fine corridor wool and 20 percent nylon for durability and it's machine washable uh, wool and then i dyed it as I told you, I am an indie dyer, so I have lots of wonderful colors and dyes and ideas of how to blend them, and that's what I did. One of these braids, I wanted to dye yellow, I mean green, because I don't really work with green much, but I braided the sliver, and it turns out that there were lots of white spots and I didn't want to sell it before I know how it will um, spin. And I'm happy to report that those white spots, they blend so nicely with the green that the result is this really, really nice and um, pale green and yellow um, yarn that I got. So I think I will I love the result. I really like the how pale it is and not bright. Then on the other hand, I really wanted something very fun and colorful. So I dyed this purpley gray blue turquoise one and I spun it as well. And this one is much darker and I think it spun beautifully as well. I love it as well. So this potentially will also become some socks or not I don't know <laughs> but they have nylon so they can be socks I also got this gorgeous fiber which is ballerina again by Anna Gratton again uh, Corydale silk mohair and nylon glitter I'm in love with this. I really, really had fun with this one. And it spun so fine. And I'm sure it will fluff up when I wash it because here's the sample. And look how much it bloomed. It's amazing. Amazing. Oh, I think I forgot to... I forgot to mark which needle size I used on this one. Oh no, I did. Here I used the pearl bumps. So this is one, two, three, four. So this is size four needles. Yeah, I usually do uh, yarn overs, but. So yes, I think this would be an amazing garment as well. I might combine it with some other uh, hand spun and do some sort of color work or stripes or something, but. And if only you knew how soft it was, like it's really soft and not itchy at all. Of course, it has silk and mohair and corydale. And my latest spin, latest? Yes, latest spin is the iceberg. 
which is just Corydale, not, not a blend, just Corydale, which um, now that I feel it is not as smooth as the Ballerina, but still really, really a pleasure to spin. This one I haven't washed yet, so it's um, it's still very grippy and I think it will bloom nicely after I've washed it. Um, yeah, what can I say? It's been really, really lovely. The sliver was this combination of uh, colors like gray, white, and light blue and periwinkle blue. And as you can see, they blended really, really nicely together. So yeah, that's another one that I worked on. Oh, I forgot to say another fiber that I got for my birthday was the jelly bean, which is another 100% um, Corydale wool. And this is how crazy these colors are. I don't know if I will wear something like that, but I thought my daughter who loves black, and I don't really want to knit with black, she might wear, enjoy something like that. So my my um, goal is, here is a little a sample that I've spun and applied. I applied it with a black, thin, uh, lace weight wool, Corydale wool, which is something that Anna Gratton as well sells in her shop. And I did here, yeah, I tried to make thin and thick, you can see this is intentional, this is not a mistake, I made thin and thick um, yarn. And then I applied it with black and, okay, today I think we can take it off. Just, I hope you can see just how gorgeous it looks. So what I want to do is I want to wash it and then oh, make a swatch with it. Oh, something is going on. Make a swatch with it and then uh, knit some, um, just figure out if I would like to knit something like that for my daughter who keeps asking me to knit her something black. I'm just in love with this, really. Oh, look at that. Mmm, delicious. Delicious. Absolutely. I guess that's all about uh, the spinning that I have been doing. Now let's talk about some finished objects. I don't think they will be new for you if you have been in this, if you have been watching before. Uh, but I thought since I want to talk about hand spinning here, I might show some of the projects that I have done. Also, this is kind of for me to encourage myself to knit from all the stuff that I have spun because I have this huge box, about 80 liters box, full of hand spun yarn and I have only four projects to show you that I've done from my hand spun. So I already showed you the socks. This is my latest knit and I couldn't be happier. I love making socks, but I couldn't make just socks from hand spun, right? So I want to share with you um, this hand spun, hand knitted top that I, well not top, vest that I made for my little daughter who is four. She turned four three months ago. And it's called, uh, the pattern is called The Mud Puddles by Kelly van Niekerk. And uh, it has this beautiful, beautiful puff sleeve detail here. And uh, I spun Polworth. I think it's 100% Polworth that I got from Sharon from the Jumbo Cutting and I loved spinning this fiber. It's so... Before I knew what Polworth was, I was like, oh, what is Polworth? I don't know. I only know merino silk and and uh, 
I don't know, <laughs> acrylic. But then when I tried and I fell in love. So I think I spun it to a DK weight and it bloomed so much after washing. And it was lots of fun to knit, of course, because of all the crazy color changes. And on the whole, I think it looks great. What's more, my daughter is very easy to spot in this one, which is very handy in all kinds of playgrounds and parks and stuff. So I love braids, bright, colorful stuff for kids for that reason. There are three buttons, but only one of them is functional. That's enough, plenty to fit the head. My daughter loves wearing it. She, um, when I ask her what kind of vest she would want to wear, she tends to choose this one. And I'm very happy that she loves it. So this is the first, uh, well, second hand knit that I want to show you. The next would be this beautiful shawl, which is the Kindness Shawl by Jal Espiro, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. And I love this shawl. First of all, because it was spun from a beautiful gradient bat from Annette, my friend Annette from the Twisted Sisters. And I managed, I don't remember how, I wish I could remember how I spun it. So it's this gradient from pink to gold. And the pattern is perfect for showcasing this beautiful gradient. And at the bottom here, I have some Angora blend that I also got from Annette, which um, I think makes for the beautiful border. And uh, I cannot love this shawl more. It's the warmest one I have, probably also because it's um, not super wash. So absolutely lovely. Hold on, my daughter just woke up. As you can see, Miss Lily woke up, so I'm gonna try to still record something, but I don't know how it will go, really. <laughs> because this one, this one, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember where I stopped. As you can see, Miss Lily just woke up and uh, she didn't wake up in a good mood, so it took us some time to get into this lovely non-crying state. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I guess I'll... Let's, let's show this one. Let's show this one. What is this one? This is the never not knowing. Ah, here we gnome again. No, that is a pattern by Sarah Shira from Imagined Landscapes. And this fiber... Okay, go, go play, go play. This was my first hand-dyed and hand-spun and hand-knitted project. I've done it in July last year. Yeah! And that's all. So the last hand-knitted, hand-spun project that I want to show you is a cowl that I've um, made from Annette's art bat. It was a um, lovely bat to spin. And I improvised this cowl. Let me just quickly throw it on. The only problem is that it's not as soft as I would like it to be. And I, um, I don't tend to wear it that much, unfortunately. But it was a fun project. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the last knitted object that I want to share with you. Okay, now I wanted to make some podcast recommendations. And uh, one of them is the podcast that I recently discovered. It's Bella from the 100 Acre Wool podcast. I love her designs. I, I don't know how I didn't know about her before. And uh, she talks about spinning as well. And she's recently discovered her love for spinning as well. So if you're into that and you want to check out her designs, I think that would be a lovely idea. And another podcast that I... Moja Horusha. 
Ой, хороший такой. Ам. Ам. I love watching ducks um, spinning, yarn dyeing, and knitting adventures and crocheting. And I always look forward for the next episodes and I will never tire of recommending her to you guys. And um, the third podcast recommendation is going to be my two friends, Kylie and Jill from the a tea, a Cup of Tea and Yarn podcast, which is a fellow New Zealand uh, friends <laughs> who are very, very prolific with their knitting. I mean, there are two of them, but also they're so great. They spin, they um, make um, socks, shows everything beautiful and i think you will enjoy watching them as well so yeah to conclude this um somewhat um <laughs> a crazy episode of all it is for me anyway since this little one woke up i want to ask you a question uh have you tried hand spinning if yes, what's your favorite fiber and uh, what do you spin just for fun of it or do you knit with it? And if you do knit, um, what is your go-to go project? I mean, what's your go-to pattern? What do you make? Blankets, hats, scarves, maybe some baby knits? I would love to know. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining me today if you enjoyed watching. I'd love to hear from you and see your thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And for now, that's all from us. I wanted to chat to you more, but this will be next time when Miss Lily takes another nap, another day. Thanks for watching. Say bye-bye, paka paka. She has no idea why we're saying bye-bye. There's no face. <laughs> paka, paka, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye.